Engineer 775 with a part two video for Solar Simplified with no inverters. And the customer was so happy with what we did the last time, we came back and we added some more solar because the roof over here is full. And so we added four panels for another DC project. We're running the solar hybrid hot water heater. And uh, why is my camera going crazy? Engineer 775 with a part two video for Solar Simplified with no inverters. And the customer was so happy with what we did the last time, we came back and we added some more solar because the roof over here is full. And so we added four panels for another DC project. We're running the solar hybrid hot water heater. Hey folks, we have a runaway island in the middle of a pond. This thing is moving. I thought it was an optical illusion, but it is actually a floating island in the middle of this pond. I really noticed it today because of the wind. But she'll move around like 20 feet, turn around in circles. It's just growing. It's got trees and ferns and all sorts of plants out there. That's cool. Okay, we will have to admit to a, a little bit of a cheating here going on. There's a, we're using a Black & Decker 1000 watt inverter to heat up our lunch, our Brunswick stew. So a little bit of cheating, but mostly 95% of this job has been without those inverters. So anyway, we're doing really well. Classic's kicking along here with the batteries in float, um, heating the stew in the crock pot. Not a problem at all, so great sunny day test all our solar gizmos out and uh, let me show you the the array we put in for the hot water system and I want to show you the solar array for this job where's that golf cart we did one other thing too so we put up uh, this is another top of pole mount with four panels for mission 295s we put uh, a midnight MNPV3 with a lightning arrestor on there and uh, She's just making a lot of hot water today. And really, really, really happy with the simplicity of the system. We also, because we pumped so much water, more water than they needed, we replaced the disconnect that was here with this MN stop switch. So we can have um, the water's pumping now, and or we can be on the, uh, yeah, the water's pumping now, or I can turn this off and be on golf cart charging so I'm able to take just took a weatherproof boot and put it on an Anderson connector and I can plug this into the customer's golf cart and I put a little flex charge charge controller in his golf cart because he has he pumps so much water so he wanted to use this extra energy so I'm gonna go uh, back on the pump yeah so they're both off now so it's a little transfer switch uh, it, it works pretty good we're pretty happy with the way it's turned out and he can pull his golf cart in here, charge it up, and use it for his homestead. So that works really, really well. And let me show you what we did in the golf cart. So in the golf cart, continuing on with DC here, we have a flex charge. This is an older golf cart. It's a 36 volt golf, golf cart. And we put in a flex charge charge controller. And so when the tank is full, they can live on their tank of water for about a week. So there's lots of extra solar and this golf cart is used a lot. So it is now, it's been converted to the solar cart. So we have the charge controller in here, battery sensing lines, everything's hooked up and fused. And then they just plug into an Anderson connector. So you have your AC charging if you need or your DC charging below it. So, and it's working, that's working lovely as well. And what else can we talk about? I think that's about it. So folks, it's just fun to uh, work with a customer that just really gets it, enjoys it, and has been so excited. So we have this is the second time we've been here, and there probably will be a third. He's got a little cabin that he wants us to take off-grid. So 
it's great. I've enjoyed it. It's been no power here for a couple days, and uh, we're just uh, enjoying that too, putting uh, practicing what we preach. So uh, we just pulled the pump out. We had a pump in here that was we didn't we were told the wrong recovery rate, so the pump that we put in here first was too fast. It was pumping too much, and so we just switched it out with a with a smaller uh, half half the uh, pumping ability of the uh, 11 SQF2, we replaced it with a 6 QF3. Okay, and that's it. And we're gonna test to see if the, what the 11 is doing. So in the meantime, back to the island. That island keeps moving around on me. It was really spinning yesterday. We had the wind from Hurricane Michael. It was going crazy. All right, I think that's a good time to sign out. If you need any help with going off grid, or building floating hydroponic islands in the middle of your pond or aerating your pond with solar or doing anything with solar making solar stew solar golf carts hot water pumping water up mountains air conditioning oh they really love their air conditioning i need to show you that that's one thing i will finish this thing off with and again we're following up with the acdc 12c air conditioner this is uh it from hotspot we do have these on the website if you're interested these are awesome we were not able to get this installed the last time we were here so the customer had his local uh, heat and air guy install it and they've never hooked it to the grid so this is only run on solar so right now we just cranked it down so she is she's cranking out cold air and they're able to freeze themselves out of this room or uh, heat themselves out of this room um, without going on the grid so they decided to see if they could live with it without hooking it up to the grid so it's running 100 percent on solar again this is the first generation of these air conditioners that runs 100 percent on solar energy and um what else can i tell you about it it's just super quiet it's clean and it's it's just awesome it's running on six panels so we're a little shy about um 1740 watts and we found that Bumping up a couple panels really allows this thing. It, it comes on before the sun breaks the trees. The thing is starting to wake up. You'll hear it beep. It'll wake up, and then it'll shut down. Um, but way beyond sundown, it's still running. So I've been very impressed by the performance of the ACDC 12C. Again, another wonderful uh, way to have air conditioning, direct drive, no batteries, no inverters. I think I'll sign out with this. If you have any questions, let me know. Engineer 775 signing out.